Aloha everyone. I've already released a couple videos talking about Maui's housing crisis after the Lahaina fire. So we know it's already been determined that we need around 3,000 properties in order to get all the survivors out of the hotels and into stable long-term housing. But how are we doing after a few months of searching for those 3,000 properties? Well, the governor just gave us a quick update on the progress. Let's take a look at what he had to say, and then I'll break it down even further and tell you what you can do to help Maui's recovery. Aloha, as we approach the uh, six month anniversary of the wildfire, I wanted to give uh, some updates, especially on housing. So we know we have to move people from hotels over into long-term housing. We're now down to 21 hotels, which had peaked much higher than that, as you know, uh, even closer to 40. And we have 1,367 units of short-term rentals converted to long-term uh, for FEMA. Our Department of Human Services has 130 and they're aiming for 300. CNHA, they are really doing well. They have 448 units, some of which are the um, homestay program, other are just long-term rentals. If you add up all that we've got, we've reached about 2,345 out of the need for 3,000 households. Uh, it's still gonna be a process. It's gonna take a few more weeks, but people are now moving and that's important. Okay, so he ran through a lot of information really quickly, but here's what stood out to me. Out of the 3,000 properties we need, we already have 2,345 committed through a combination of three different programs. That means we're already 78% of the way to the finish line. I personally think that we've made a lot of good progress in a short amount of time, but we still need a few more properties to join one of these programs. Now, if you watch my other videos, you know that I rented my personal vacation rental property through the FEMA direct lease program, and I'm really happy with how it's gone for me so far. And if you're interested in offering your property to one of these programs, the governor is asking people to send an email to Maui Housing 2024 at fema.dhs.gov. There's also a website you can go to, and that is helpingmaui.org. I'll put a link in the description to both of these below. So I've talked to a lot of Maui property owners that are interested in helping, which means we should be able to complete this property search in the next few weeks. And anyone who desires to put their property into one of these programs should probably act pretty quickly. Now, if you found this information helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you know anyone else that might find this information helpful, please share it with them. That's it for this video, short and to the point. For more updates on Maui's recovery, feel free to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next one. Aloha.